Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2006 Chevrolet Express 3500 series bucket van. This bucket van has a little over 170,000 original miles on a 6 liter Vortec V8 gasoline engine in an automatic transmission. It has a 34 foot working height, versatile lift, bucket unit on the top. The engine starts right up, it sounds great. As you can hear, it's got a small belt squeal. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that, but automatic transmission shifts through all the gears as it should. As you can see, the work light on top is functioning as well. And overall, inside and out, the van's clean, presentable, looking down the side. There is no major damages or dings. He's working that work light on top, a really cool feature. Aside from the squeaking, this van's in really nice shape. Sounds like somebody's under the hood there. <laughs> No, but nonetheless, the van does run and drive well. Sounds great, motor's quiet. Put a little bit of belt dressing on it to uh, stop it and, and the motor sounds great. But looking inside here, the interior's in nice shape. It's got just regular crank windows. It does have power door locks, uh, but as you can see, the seat bottom's in nice condition. Uh, the back of the seat, there's a small tear there, but looking inside of this thing, it's in good shape. Heat works great, it's blowing in my face, it's a cold day. Uh, but taking a look at it, it's got 170,431 miles at the time of this video. The security light is on because the key, as you can see, it's supposed to be a chip key, but that's just the key that works. It still works, it's just that light's going to come on. Here's our controls for the PTO. This is a hydraulic PTO that runs off the engine, and it's got 1,206 hours. That's what it's saying. AM, FM radio, heat and air conditioning, all the cup holders you need. Nice little center console there. And floor's in nice bl uh, nice black color. Overall, inside this interior is in nice shape. Now, this is a 2006, but it does show well. And Robert is high in the sky, as you can see. Reaching the heavens there. But this van has strobe lights and work lights, caution lights throughout, and all of which appear to be functioning as they should. All these tires are in good shape. We'll take a look at those. The frame and underside is in nice shape. It does have a little bit of rust bubbling on some of the, uh, I think it's the other side, I'll show you. Uh, but some of these body pans, these vans, again, this is an older van, but you can kind of see a little bit of bubbling there. Not a super big problem, but we're very transparent here. Pretend like I'm buying these vehicles, but looking off the back here, we've got a rear platform, diamond plate on the top, it's been painted. This bumper is kind of holding on by a thread. Uh, the rear bumper cover, I mean, this this part, um, the platform is still very solid. But as you see, Robert is operating around, acting like he knows what he's doing. Uh, this is his, is it your second or third day? It's his first day, guys, he's doing pretty good. Um, but looking at this van, it's in great shape. Rear pl platform step. This does open even with the platform off the back. Look at inside here, it's just got regular shelves inside. It's very clean, uh, but plenty of space if you were to remove these shelves. Provide a lot of storage. He's trying to whack me in the head. The heater does work in this. It's again super cold day. You can see he's keeping his little footsies nice and cold or wet or I'm um, sorry, warm. But looking at this thing, the boom all in good shape. A little bit of surface rust in some areas on the boom, but overall, uh, just a really nice operating van. Pardon that, I think we're doing some reconning over there, but nonetheless, looking down the side of this thing, in good shape. This van did have some paint work. A lot of these vans come in, they had uh, previous company names on the side, so we have to go ahead and kind of paint some areas where the sticker had peeled off some paint. But again, all these tires are in good shape. We'll look under this side. This is what I'm talking about, the bubbling. There's some light bubbles. Again, this van has had a little paint work, so, um, just expect that kind of stuff. Well, looking underneath the frame and the meat and potatoes under there is in good shape, but as you can see, the boom functions 100%. This thing mechanically is in great shape.
Looking inside, the floor is a nice black color, the pedestal's in great shape. Uh, we'll take a look. Yeah, it's a 29 foot nine platform height, if you can see that. So 34 foot nine should put you in the sky at a, at a working height. But just regular bins and shelving inside, nothing fancy. We've got our lower controls, which do function as they should. Again, this interior is in nice shape overall. But looking down the side of this thing, it's a great, clean, presentable van. It functions as it should. These bucket vans are getting harder to find. This one being one of our most affordable bucket vans. Here lately, we've been getting in some really, uh, some nice bucket vans that we can sell. And uh, it's very hard to find a good bucket van that you can trust that's, that's affordable. These things are not cheap to reproduce and uh, We've got a good inventory right now, so if you need one, we've got them. But this one, gonna go in our mechanic shop and fix the uh, squeak under the hood. And then she'll be ready to rock and roll. But you can check this van out and some others for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland. I can ship this van throughout the United States. Call me and I'd be happy to give you a quote on that, but a great opportunity to buy one of our most affordable bucket vans we've had and one that's still gonna go to work and get the job done and look good doing it. But again, Brady with Lewis Motor Company, feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.